All right, uh, wind finally quieting down a little bit and in fact switching directions after gusting out of the north at 40 miles per hour today at its maximum. We're now south at 10 miles per hour, 49. The temperature is still quite mild for this time of the night. Moorhead at 48 degrees. Look at the 50s out to the west, still 56. Jamestown 54s in Langdon and Cavalier. The entire area is seeing more of a southerly component to the winds now. So everybody in the 40s with the exception of you in Wadena County there, 39. Here's a look at the cool air mass that moved through earlier today, now making a, an advance towards Chicago. A secondary surge of cool air, though, is getting its uh, gear ready, and it's heading south tonight. So we have some showers through Kitson County, Western Roseau, and Marshall Counties in Minnesota. This is where the rain is most likely reaching the ground and wetting the sidewalks, and maybe upwards of a tenth of an inch from our showers that are passing through as we go through the evening hours. As we head to bed tonight, our wind, which is now from the south, will turn around and become northerly once again by morning. In fact, overnight it picks up again. We'll have gusts to near 30 or 35 miles per hour as you're heading out the door on your Friday morning. A cool chill in the air, temperatures near 40 north. Down south of Fargo, a better chance at still holding on to a few mid 40s. And those clouds and showers should be a thing of the past for most of us, with the exception of the international border counties. The north flow will continue to uh, increase throughout the day. Where you see the yellow colored arrows, that's where we'll have some robust winds gusting over 30 or 35 miles per hour once again throughout the afternoon. That north flow will keep us cool. Temperatures cooler than today. We peaked at 60 for Friday, 50 in Grand Forks, 57 Fargo, and 49 in Detroit Lakes. More clouds and a few sprinkles on again, off again. Nothing too heavy across northern Minnesota. In Fargo, your planner 39 at the bus stop. Clear skies, north winds gusting to 35 miles per hour, maybe a little higher at times. And a few clouds drifting by in the afternoon after the mid 50s uh, throughout most of the time frame there. 50 for Langdon tomorrow on your way home from work or school. 54 in Jamestown, 49 in Detroit Lakes with Fergus Falls at 51 degrees. Colorful sunset tonight if you didn't catch it. And Tiffany caught this one. Fargo sunset a couple nights ago. Thanks for sharing and uploading your photo. Now, as we go through a cool and windy Friday, Saturday looks to be fantastic. In fact, it's my pick day of the weekend because the wind takes a day off. Uh, 65 degrees, that's average for this time of the year. Pretty fair day. Now, we warm things up. We're talking mid-70s, and a few areas could see upper 70s to near 80 degrees. But it'll be very gusty out of the south. Keep that in mind. We stay warm on Monday, but by late in the day, a chance for some showers and thunder showers. And again, on Tuesday, as cooler air makes its way back down from the north, we will head through midweek with temperatures in the 60s. Not too cold, mind you, but still a pretty fair weekend ahead. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Thank you. You bet.